Hi, I'm Dr. York and uh, I'm here to tell you about a new change in our office that we made just for you. Now, as a child's dentist, I know that coming here can be scary for a kiddo. I mean, top three fears of kiddos. Someone stealing their lunch money, someone stealing their packed lunch, coming to see me to get their teeth cleaned. That's why we here at York Dentistries have decided to hop on the trend of getting an emotional support animal. That's right, we got an emotional support dog. Her name is Chloe. Now we can't show her on camera right now. <laughs> She's a tad bit camera shy, but we wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction to Chloe before you come into the office. So this is Chloe. We found her behind a dumpster eating live rats and bugs. Unfortunately, she's so used to that diet that's all she'll eat. So we do have to only feed her live rats and bugs. She is very, some would say mean, but we prefer to say traumatized and severely damaged by the abuse and neglect of her past owner. Uh, she's a biter. Definitely cannot be within seven feet of her, which is why we've had to reno the entire office to make really big rooms. Once a person feeds her, she never wants to see them again, which is why we started hiring interns daily, morning and night, and then promptly firing them immediately after they had fed her. And we had that rotation going on for a while before we were told by the state to stop doing that now. So instead we just have Casey. He dresses up in a new disguise for every mealtime. Her original name used by the locals was Mayanda, which, just means piss. Obviously, we had to choose something a little more child appropriate, so we picked Chloe. She is afraid of children. I don't know if it's a fear or just an extreme dislike, uh, but she just can't deal with them. So we do ask for our child patients that you wear a fake mustache or a button-up shirt and a tie, maybe carry a newspaper or an oil lamp just so that she, you know, thinks you're an old person. If you forget, we do have a shirt you can wear it that says, I survived the 1980 Mount St. Helens volcanic eruption and all I got was this lousy t-shirt, which Chloe will think that you bought in 1980 when the tragedy happened, making you a legal adult. And big surprise for us all, we just found out that Chloe is eight months pregnant. Yeah, we thought she was just eating too much, so we cut her meals by half which cannot be good for those babies. But turns out there's an estimated nine babies in there. So by the next time you come in, who knows, we might have 10 emotional support dogs. Wouldn't count on it though, that pet food thing probably did some, some real damage. We'll see you soon. Say bye, Chloe.